department of treasury in heaven that God is watching over everything you do and you are storing up eternal treasure that will go so far beyond I think that we can even begin to imagine you need to send in $3,500 you need to send in $35,000 you need to send in that $100,000 check if you do not write that P.O. box and you do not call that toll free number and you do not become a ministry of sustainer you will never see sustainment in your life and your dream will die your call will die I want you to hear from God. God already spoke to me what I'm to write out. You're going to write your checks to Paula White Ministry. Because this is Power Night. It's different than City of Destiny, all right? This is Power Night. If I want to bless City of Destiny, we'll bless City of Destiny with all of it. But you're going to get a check. If you want to text to give, you can do so. If you want to give by Alexio, you can do so. But every single person gets something significant. Father, we just ask right now that you would speak with clarity. Because some of us are going to build an altar. That altar, maybe that's a sacrifice of $50 or $100. Maybe it's $1,000. Whatever it is you speak. Some of us are going to get a covenant seed right now. But I believe that as we build an altar and we walk in obedience with covenant, that there is vision that's going to be released in the next hour. In the next 45 minutes, if we walk away with open eyes and clarity for instruction, God, then I know that what you've said will come to pass. I'm going to depart from my usual talk to give you a, a snippet about prosperity preachers and prosperity gospel. The clips that you've just I've just played is from one of the most blatant and shameless prosperity preacher, Paula White. She was she is in the news right now because she's just become she inveigled her way inveigled her way into the White House into. You know, from her long-term friendship with President Trump from way back before he was a candidate, when he was a businessman. They knew each other in Florida. Paul is, is based in Florida. So from, from those little snippets, you have a close-up view of what a prosperity preacher does. You know, the high-pressure... Uh, money grabbing is is beyond the pale. She is she's the most money hungry of the current breed of prosperity gospel prosperity preachers. Among those, they're more seasoned, so they're not so they've made their millions, so they're not so blatant. Whereas Paula is is like <laughs> out out with a huge dagger to to rob people of money and she's shameless. Before you, to understand what is prosperity gospel, one has to understand what the, what the terms they use. One term is seed. Your donation is called a seed. You plant it. When you give, you plant it and it grows. Just as a seed dies, it, it grows and, and produces fruit of of a hundredfold or a thousandfold or whatever. And similarly, your donation being a seed, if you plant in, into, a, into anybody's ministry, will grow into prosperity for yourself, health and wealth, and for the gospel to go forward. And that's the whole intention of having you open your wallet. And where does that come from? So it comes from... Paul's letter, 2 Corinthians chapter 9, where Paul speaks of the Jerusalem church. In his missionary journey, Jerusalem was devastated by, by famine and the Jerusalem church was suffering. So he, in this letter to the Corinthians, he, he said, you know, I, your giving is so generous that when I talk to, to the Macedonian people about your generous giving, they were ready to give to poor as they were. And he continues, remember this, a farmer who plants only a few seeds will get a small crop, but the one who plants generously will get a generous crop. Meaning, if you give a small amount, you will reap a small crop. But if you give generously, there's no telling what, what kind of harvest you will have, then that's where Paul links giving with 
seed, where he, he links giving with the farmer. After all, he says, he goes on, it's, the, it's God who gives the farmer the seeds to sow in the first place. After all, in the end, when all is said and done, it is God who gives you your finances anyway to give to. So that's how they they interpret the seed. Yeah, it's rightly or wrongly, but they use this. So what do you want? You want a huge harvest? That's so generously. That's that's what it that's what they're saying when when Paul White or the other said, this is a covenant seed. This is the you know, if you sec hear the second clip, this is the power hour. Write your checks to Paul White Ministries within the next hour, the next 45 minutes, the pressure is there. <laughs> if you want your seed to grow, this is the time that it will grow exponentially. <laughs> that's that's how prosperity gospel and prosperity preachers work. Be and he, he, there was another sermon. And yeah, the, the, there's a lot of attention on her because she's been, she's posting everywhere. She's posting in her church that she's flew, flown on Air Force One with the president. They've done, read the Bible together. She goes to the White House. They do Bible study. It's all well and good, but we, yeah, but it's attracting attention from the other Christian community in the sense that they think that President Trump has been hijacked by these gospel people, that he would enforce the rules of the, that it will become a theocracy, that Christianity would be the rule of the land, all the laws would change. But that, there's no fear of that in the sense that, you know, we, we other Christians have our, our heads screwed on well. We will not allow that. We will, yeah, I will continue to expose Paula White. I used to admire her, yeah, because when, when Paula White, the old Paula White was very humble and she could, I know she came from humble beginnings and she could just like that pick up Bible verses here and there. And she's, yeah, they, they have, they really have the gift of the gob. I, there's no, no <laughs> two ways about it. They can just pick scriptures out here and there. And that, that's the danger it, that Satan, we know that can disguise himself as a saint, as an angel. So there's snippets of biblical truth in there, here and there, but it's all to have you open their wallets and give to their ministry. They think it's a valid ministry, but it is just to enrich them. Paula has a $2.6 million mansion in Florida, a $3.5 million apartment in Trump Tower. And she, well, she's actually the poorest of all prosperity ministers. Yeah, there are others that, that live in palatial buildings that drive the most fanciful cars when they travel to rallies. They stay in presidential suites and they travel first class and, and and all that stuff. And they have television studios, which you can buy time on a television, a Christian television network, where you can broadcast your shtick to millions of people, sending money you want for the next hour or so. Write your checks. This is the hour of power where God will exponentially increase your seed. Come on, give. And the other, th I was, I used to attend a church like that. I used to tithe a lot <laughs> to say that. But the other, th the thing that really got me was their, 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 they have huge visions of grandeur beyond anything. I'm going to start 50 churches. And you think I cannot start these churches for that reason. I will give to this ministry so they will do the work for me. And I hope this has kind of elucidated what, prosperity gospel and what it is and the dangers thereof to the next few sessions I will talk about prosperity and what is true prosperity and how this prosperity gospel hurts people hurts Christians